Hey, good to have everyone here. And um, missed you guys last week. I was in my strategic coach training. And one of the pieces that came up, and Dan, you would have loved this training because it was all about process. So if you think about what happens, um, and I'll use the whiteboard here, but if you think about what happens when you have strategy, and then strategy, we want to go right to execution, right? Cade, you and I talk about this all the time. We say, we got the strategy, let's execute. Exit, whoops. So, but this is the big gap. And this is why a lot of you never get things launched in your practice. So what is the gap? What's that big thing between strategy and execution? Procrastination. Yeah, well, there's procrastination, yes. Uh, clarity or lack thereof. I'm going to write this up. Yeah, so these are all these are all right answers. But yeah, there's there's procrastination, lack of clarity, you know, so confusion is the word for lack of clarity. But but think about what that gap is. And Dan, you love this. So go back to the Colby profile. You know, there's fact finders, there's follow throughs, there's quick starts, and there's implementers. So and you know, as a as a quick start working with me. I go from strategy to let's get it done really quick, but what do you need in between that? You need a, well, a fact finder just to see if there's any like problem solving that needs to be done, but also like practically speaking, like knowing what the steps are to get there. <laughs> there like, I, I like being able to take your ideas. Like I was thinking of this today. I, you're probably in Myers-Briggs more of a perceiver. I'm more a, a judger, I guess. Um, but I like being able to take your ideas and, and practically implement them. But sometimes like, you know, the steps are skipped. You need both. You need both sides of the brain, I guess. There we go. And so Dan, uh, your Colby profile, Anne is our fact finder. She's a fact finder follow through. Dan is a follow through. You lead with follow through. And so that is that word that Anne mentioned, which is process. And so one of the things that gets missed between strategy and execution, especially if you're working with quick starts, and many of you on this webinar are quick starts, you miss the word process. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today, because one of the big things we trained on last week, or excuse me, at the last Go Wellness session was the importance of having a program design. And Anne, I sent you the A to Z program design process. And what I'm going to do is share with you guys the program design form that we created for you at Go Wellness. And I'm going to, I'll share my screen here. But what I, what I realized is I made this super cool form and a super cool process. What I thought was a process, uh, but it actually is an execution tool to create clarity and treatment plans, because you're going to hear this at Einstein's medicine. I'm going to show you the ways to practice genius medicine and it's to create simplicity in your treatment program. So the only way you can create simplicity is if you actually know what you're working on. So we created the program design, but the problem with the program design is we didn't have it put into our ROF process. And so what I realized in all the, all the head banging is why aren't you guys using this tool? I realize there's no process around it. And so, um, so now we, we created a processing and Kate, I went, uh, I was in St. George over the weekend. Your team was the first uh, team trained on this overall process. Did you get any feedback from them at all on uh, Monday? I know you weren't with them much. No, I haven't even had a chance. Okay. So see how this goes because this one little change in your ROF, if you guys want to take your two things, you know, the conversion rate, um, you know, whatever your conversion rate is now, if you want to increase it, um, and then if you want to take your case fee average and increase that, even double it, this is the singular tool that will allow you to do that without changing anything else. And so, um, so time to stop, start struggling. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, awesome. So let's uh, let's jump into this. Um, 
Let me stop share here. Does everyone have the program design tool? Um, if not, you can upload it or Anne has probably already shared that. Uh, okay, so, so now we're gonna go to the A to Z process. So, so this A to Z process is so critical because it is the process that was missing originally that had kept my team from implementing the program design until I realized like, oh man, I've got to, um, I've got to go through this. So, all right, so let's, um, let me share my screen here. And Dan, what happens to you when you actually have a process in place? How does, how does it free your, up your energy? Um, well, I mean, because I'm constantly thinking about the flow and how do we move into execution? Um, if I already have pieces in play, so I have the idea of how we want to do it. And then, you know, we have, like you said, the tool for execution, but having the steps um, the know how to do it, it, it makes it a lot easier. It's like, I can be thinking about other things. To me, it's almost like memorizing scripting, right? It's like, you don't have to think about what you have to say. I don't have to think about what I'm going to have to do. It's there. And, and for me, um, honestly, that's like, um, cuddling up a teddy bear. Uh, it's a good <laughs> feeling. You know, it's like, all right, it's just, there's that, you know, it's that it's there, right? It's, it's like a, a reliable, system is incredible man yeah and, and so uh i don't know how many of you are like that but when you have a process you can always fall back on man it help. i mean even for my quick start dan it does it feels like a teddy bear to me when i can just go back through a process and make sure that the team is executing on it then i can go and fish those big ideas out of the sky and and hopefully bring them down and make take them into action so so we're going to go through this today um, if you are a doctor a practitioner who does not want to improve your results in your ROF, if, you, if you're not interested in, in doubling your case fee average, if you don't believe that there's anything for you to learn when it comes to sales and influence and teamwork, or if you don't want to free yourself up from the ROF process, if that's where you're at in, in your practice, then I would say don't even listen to this um, because it's going to be all for those of you who want to either free yourself up so you're not doing all the ROFs. If you're somebody who wants to create more value so that patients are happy to, to pay money for your programs and happy to invest and they love working with you, um, this is for you. If you want to actually get the, your case fee averages up so you actually have the length of time to work with people, well, they need clarity in your treatment program. And so this is the process to create clarity. Okay. So front stage, how is it working? Well, right now we're running a brand new, our, our brand new thyroid campaign. What we're realizing is in marketing, it changes all the time. And so what we're doing is using surveys now for direct to office visits. And the surveys are actually knocking it out of the park. We have, uh, we've almost decreased. What would you say, Cade? We've decreased our cost per booked appointment by about 30% is what I could tell in our marketing meeting yesterday. Is that, is that accurate to say? Yeah. And, and then we've increased the amount of uh, leads coming in. And all we need to do now that we've tried our new strategy is now we just increase the budget um, to the place where we need it. So, um, so I'm excited about that. I don't know if you noticed yesterday, I was really jazzed. Yeah. Well, and it's nice to get some predictability. Yes. It's, yeah. The, the, one of the big challenges we've had recently is just getting people to watch webinars. I think, you know, a lot of people are more active now getting out and about. So, yeah. Yeah. Webinars aren't as good, but if you have them fill out a survey and it's got all the thyroid symptoms and uh, this is something that red marketing has done uh, with us. So you guys can look at that. Um, our landing page, Kate, I don't know if you can, if you or Ann could share our, our new landing page, um, in our, uh, in our thyroid marketing campaign, I use Dan's coffee bean analogy and Dan, did I misquote you at all? Did I accurately represent your coffee bean analogy? I think you did. Yay. All Yay. right. Okay, good. Um, so, so front stage. So now somebody's seen us, They've, they've filled out the survey and, or they've come through a referral, Google. So the front stage process 
is what's it like for the patient to interact with us? What's that patient journey? And so they've gone to this website and they've watched the three videos and the video number one, it, it's kind of an overview of everything. We're knocking down objections. We're talking about the, you know, the differences in treating the thyroid. Uh, the second video is all about uh, kind of phase one, the removal, you know, remove and replace. And then the third video is really going through and allowing them to get a good picture of what it's like to work with us and actually show them a program design. Um, I'm showing them all the labs, not just the blood labs that we're going to go through, but I show them the gut and the adrenal. So it's, it's very comprehensive. Um, and then you can, if you scroll up, Cade, you can see how we are thyroid experts. And so one of the things we're introducing all of our providers as is you're going to meet with our thyroid expert um, today. Uh, her name is Sarah Sapinski, and she's got uh, phenomenal resources that she can share with you on thyroid health. So, so Dan, you can use this in infertility, right? An infertility expert or a pain expert, if you're treating a pain condition or a neuropathy expert. So, so just remember, people want to work with an expert, and in your office, they need to be introduced as such, and even in your marketing. So, so then I go through, and this is where I write out the copy that uh, Dan shared with us, the coffee bean analogy, which I think is one of the easiest ways to remember thyroid health. Um, okay, so let's go back to the other page here. Thank you, Cade. So, so there's a landing page, um, and our pain one will be there in just, you know, just a couple of weeks. We'll have our pain one all done. Um, so A to Z, so new patient, they watch all the, the videos, they send in their labs that they have, they have urgency and scarcity, um, is met with genuine warmth and professionalism when they schedule their appointment. Step two, the new patient shows up with a support person, they get an amazing tour, build confidence, they get met, they get introduced to the expert and they get introduced as, you know, Dan, there's no one better on, in, in, on the planet that I know of for infertility than, than Dr. Kellams. And so you're working with the best of the best. And so they go and sit down with Dr. Kellams and Dan, you give them the guarantee. Our guarantee is that every patient who comes into the office will have 100% clarity on their health issues and have 100% clarity on the program that will correct the issues for good. We do this so you can easily take action and move in a direction that is good for you. And so um, giving them that guarantee, the way we came up with that is we look at what's an experience like when your patients go to a traditional doctor's office. Dan, you've seen thousands of patients. What's the biggest complaint that you've heard when patients have gone to other clinics, whether it's an acupuncturist or functional medicine or a traditional medicine? Um, a lot of times they just didn't have a step-by-step -step plan. Yeah, it's like, here's your diagnosis. Um, uh, you've got endometriosis. Here's metformin, right? Yeah. Um, or PCOS and here's metformin. I guess they're not using metformin to treat endometriosis, but, um, or here's, here's your diagnosis. Here's the, the treatment. And then the patient's confused because they're like, well, what caused it? No one's right. giving them answers on what caused it. What can I do about it in my day-to-day -day life? Cause I know lifestyle has something to do with it. You ask, you ask 95% of Americans if what they eat has an impact on their health and 95% are going to say yes. And so, uh, but no doctors explaining that. So there's confusion. They also don't know like, well, is this going to get worse? How long do I have to take the medication? Cause most doctors are pretty vague. Well, we'll just see how long you have to take it. Okay. Well that gives me no clarity. So, so patient leaves the doctor more confused because now they have a diagnosis, but they're more confused about what the diagnosis actually means and how it impacts their life. So, so our guarantee is they're gonna have 100% clarity. And we do this through that program design sheet that I shared earlier. Do you guys mind if I call it a program? And I'll, we can be from Texas, just so you guys, is that okay? Programs? <laughs> I like it, you know, programs. All right, so step three, patient enrolls in blood work. You know, we're going through the two-day report of findings. You guys know that. They receive a get back, congratulations. 
get their blood drawn within 24 hours. Cade, what's the problem if we just tell a patient, yeah, go, go get your blood drawn whenever you can. What happens if they don't get it drawn quickly? Um, you lose a lot of momentum. Ton of momentum. Yeah, and then it's uh, it's work to go to try to get them to to go get their blood work done. Yeah, so the the scheduling verbiage, I think it's really critical um, when you're scheduling this patient for their blood re- blood draw. If you're not doing it in your office, um, really uh, emphasize. Okay, you you schedule them for their review and make sure they have a set date and they're putting it in their calendar of when they're uh, going to get that blood drawn done. It's like problem solve with them because sometimes it'll be, Oh yeah, I'll go get it tomorrow. And then um, as you're scheduling it, just say, Hey, do you see any problems making it tomorrow to get your blood drawn? Oh, well, I got this thing. And then they start going through their day and it's like, Oh, that's going to be disruptive help them pro like, you know, ask them good questions to problem solve that so that they figure out, okay, actually, no, tomorrow's not going to be best, but I can get it the next day. Like yeah. as long as they get it within the next couple of days, um, you're good. Cause then you can have the results back within a, a week or two, um, for, uh, the day two. Awesome. Hey everybody, Reagan Archibald here with Go Wellness. And if you liked this episode, if it actually helped inspire you to be a better practitioner, help more people, establish a much better foundation for your business, then I'm going to ask a favor of you. And that favor is to for you to share this with somebody you care about and love in the healthcare field. I don't mind if it's an acupuncturist, a functional medicine practitioner of any sorts, a naturopathic doctor, a medical doctor, any type of endocrinologist or specialist, we need to get this community strong and we can't do it without your help. So I wanna thank you from the bottom of, of my heart for all the hard work you're putting in day in and day out. I know it can be a grind, especially with some of the chronic cases that you're treating, but this show will help transform the way that you think, help transform the way you practice and change the lives of thousands. Thank you for being part of our community. Oh,